Have you ever found your iMovie products full of missing file errors like this? Or this? If so, you are in the right place. In the following video, I'll show you the way I deal with the missing file problem. Well, if this happens, don't panic. Don't mess with the files and folders you don't have knowledge of. Let's ask ourselves, why this is happening? The answer is actually surprisingly simple. It's because iMovie thinks file is missing. Isn't it obvious? Now our job is to help iMovie find that missing file. And how? My instinct would be right click on any of the weird looking clip and trigger this contacts menu. We've got many options, but this one makes a lot of sense to me. There's something missing, so let's attempt to quote unquote review that missing stuff. Click it. And part of this imported media is highlighted, but it also looks corrupted. I expect that. So let's right click on the highlighted media and see what iMovie offers us. There you go. Here's a review in Finder. Let's see what iMovie can quote unquote reveal for us. Click it. Alright. Apparently, iMovie fails to reveal us anything, but it offers a couple of possible solutions. This fixed alias makes more sense to me because I need to link or bridge the gap between the real media file and the iMovie's ghost clips. Finally a breakthrough. So I click it and navigate to the real original media file. Mine is here. You are supposed to have a copy of yours. If not, I guess there are not many people who are able to help you. So I choose it and click open. Well, I hope you have sorted out your issue at this point, but obviously things didn't go smooth for me. I got an error message that doesn't look helpful. Okay, and cancel. Let's try something else. Now, why well, don't just drag and drop the media file right above iMovie's imported media area. Make sure in your iMovie application, the My Media or Imported Media or similar kind selected. Make sure you can see these weird looking clips. Then go to the Finder window. And drag and drop above here. Whoa, fantastic. The clips finally look normal now. And so are the Imported Media files. And I'm going to do some health check. Okay. Fantastic. The clips finally look normal now. And so are the imported media files. Here's the progress. Just double click. Select the first line. Okay, I've solved my problems. Hope you have too. That's it. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in how I messed up the project, please like, share, and subscribe and check out the full video. I'll see you there. Peace.